I mean, Andreas Merschen also said to me that things like extrasensory perception, they're not woo-woo. They're, he was actually um, comparing that to the fact that most people don't know we have the second nose. He was like, there's science about it. We just haven't discovered it all yet. You yeah. Know? So intuition was a bit like that. It, people didn't, because they couldn't see it. It wasn't tangible. They didn't really take it that seriously. Like I've been teaching at MIT for over 10 years now. And 10 years ago, senior leaders would say, that's not a sense I would use at work. You know, I'm not going to use that for hire or fire. But then actually the older, wiser guys would say, that's exactly the one I use for hire or fire. Because, you know, I've learned over time to trust it. Yeah. Um, so I honed my intuition by journaling and reading over my journal and writing down every decision that I made if like logic told me one thing and intuition told me an another and I decided to trust my intuition more and more. You really mapped it out. Yeah. Um, I think I was naturally quite intuitive, but sometimes I was afraid to trust it when I felt yes. like something else was the right thing to do, logically. Um, so what we need to live our normal life is called our working memory and it's stored in the outer cortex of the brain. And then our sort of beliefs and thought patterns, you know, sort of what we were discussing earlier on, that's in systems in the limbic part of the brain, which is the shape and size of your clenched fist. So obviously yours is bigger than mine um, and the cortex is around it. And then through a process called Hebbian learning, which is named after the neuroscientist Donald Hebb, because you can't remember everything that you've experienced in your life, but you have experienced it. So that information, like neurons that fire together, wire together, gets stored deeper in your spinal cord and your gut neurons. And that's why intuition is sometimes called gut instinct. Oh, so that's why you kind of feel it right there. You kind of go there in your brain, like, what is my gut telling me to do? Yeah, like butterflies in your stomach tells you that you're nervous, right? Yeah. Um, But the sense of like, this is the right thing for me to do, or this is the right person for me to date, that might, you might not feel it viscerally, but you'll just get that sense. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, cause like over time, it's like, yeah, you have to believe that your intuition gets honed as well because of you've had experiences. Yeah, but it can also, we actually, and a really important point is that neuroplasticity can be a bad thing. 